Hey guys, it's Tilly and today I am here with the mid-year book freakout tag. It was created by Chami and Ellie who I will leave links to below to their channels and I was also tagged by Chami. So I basically will be answering 14 questions to do with the books that I have read or received in the first half of this year and a few that are to do with like releases for the next half. And so I will jump straight in and uh, yeah, get excited. So question one is best book that you have read in 2016? I have so many favourite books from this year so far, but because I don't want to double up in half these questions, I have chosen to go with Akane and Aurelia by Lynette Noni. This is a new, fun, fantasy, amazing series that I have picked up and I love it so much. The first book for me was like a, no, a four star rating and the second one was a five star rating and I'm so excited for the rest of the series and the author is just such a lovely butterfly. I love her so much. Question number two is best sequel that I have read in 2016. And this might come as no surprise to people who know me. The best sequel that I have read this year is A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J Maas. And I tell the same story every time. I was not a fan of A Court and Thorn on Roses. And somehow this book just made my heart whole again. I love it so much and all the characters in here are my absolute babies. I just Love. Question number three is a new release that you haven't got yet but want to read. And this one is super easy for me. I really want to read The Savage Song by V.E. Schwab. I love all the other works of art that she has written and so I really need to get it ASAP but I haven't seen it in the bookstores yet so I'm just waiting. Most anticipated read for the second half of the year. Empire of Storms, Empire of Storms, Empire of Storms. Biggest disappointment. And that one for me is The Diabolic by S.J. Kincaid. This does not come out until November, I'm fairly certain. Yep, November. But it was kind of a letdown for me. The first half of this book was simply amazing. I felt like the author had really set it up. The world building is mind blowing. But I just lost interest towards the second half of the book and things happened that I just did not enjoy at all and so it just wasn't as good as I really hoped it would be. Um, I haven't even written my review for this yet but I need to get around to doing that because I just keep putting it up. Biggest surprise. For me the biggest surprise was Frontlines by Michael Grant. I have heard very on and off things about this book and this author so I was very timid about picking this book up but when I started reading it I found myself quickly sucked into the book and I just have such high hopes for the rest of the series. Like this first one was good. I really did enjoy it. It surprised me but there are still a few things that I really wanted to be resolved by the end but they weren't. But it is a series so I really hope it will. It's very empowering and I did really enjoy it. I just, I can't wait to see where it goes. Favourite new author or new to me? Morgan Matson. I read um, The Unexpected Everything by her, which was my first book, and I fell in love with her just like that. And now I have read Since You've Been Gone, and I am still very much in love with Morgan Matson. She does amazing summer, fluffy, contemporary books, and I just, you know, everyone needs them. Everyone needs those books. Newest fictional crush. And I know I said I'm not going to double up on books, but I kind of had to for this one. Every single character in A Court and Mr. Fury is my new fictional love interest. Like, my heart belongs to Nesta and Feyre and Cassian and Azriel and Morrigan and, you know, even Amran. I just, I love everyone so much. Love's in the air. No, no, no. Love is in the air. I'm not a singer, obviously. Newest, uh, <laughs> newest favorite character. This one was also very equally hard to do the answer to because there is more like five favorite characters. And that is pretty much everyone from The Raven Boys by Maggie Steve Otter. And my favorite though out of them would either be Blue or Noah or Ronan. Yeah, we'll just pick top three. I just love these characters in her book so much. She manages to just describe them all so well and they're such real characters and there's like all the little details about them all that just makes you really really love them and I just have so many favorites my children number 10 a book that made me cry and I'm a very emotional person so I cried a lot a lot but I think out of all the books 
that I read, the one that I shed the most tears for was The Sidekicks by Will Kostakis and I've talked about this book before in a previous video and why it made me cry so much but it's just such a heart wrenching and heart touching read and Will Kostakis is just amazing I swear. He just gets better with every single book that he writes and this one just claimed my soul. A book that made me happy. The Unexpected Everything by Morgan Matson. This book was just filled with joy so much. Like there's probably a few little bit of sad parts in it but it is mostly like a happy fun read with characters that you fall in love with and you go on this journey with them and I found myself laughing out loud with this book and it's kind of one of those stories that you take a little bit out of it and keep it in your chest so you have this happy happy glow radiating out of you the entire day or week. This book gave me feels, such happy feels that lasted for so long and even now when I think about it I just, oh, I get so happy. Most beautiful book um, that you have bought or received this year. Oh, there are so many beautiful but there are so many beautiful book covers now like the publishers and authors are doing amazing jobs and effort or whatever I was trying to say then to make beautiful book covers and I find so many leaping out of me on the shelves but one of the most beautiful book covers that I have gotten this year is The Raven King by Maggie Steve Otter and I don't know if this camera is gonna do this cover justice but the colors on here and the artwork it's just phenomenal and I love it so much. But there are a few more honourable mentions to other books that I have picked up, which I will do now. Rebel of the Sands by Alwyn Hamilton and just the shine on this cover just... <laughs> that sold me, man. The Loneliness of Distant Things and I just... This cover is so outstandingly beautiful with the stars and the birds. I just... Uh, the Problem with Forever by Jennifer L. Armentrout and I love bright, colourful covers and... Oh, I love them. So pretty. So beautiful. Oh. What books do... What the fuck am I been doing? <sighs> okay, so I've been doing the numbers very wrong because I've been leaving the five in there. So... Um... Thirteen is... What books do you have to read by the end of the year? Um... All of my TBR books need to be read by the end of the year, but I don't think that's going to happen. So my top three that I probably want to get around to is Carry On by Rainbow Rowell, which I have heard very mixed reactions about. Wolf by Wolf by Ryan Gordon, which I will be reading very soon. And lastly, The Trials of Apollo by Rick Rorden. And, you know, it's the Rick Rorden book. I have to read it. So rude. And the last question, which is 14, is my favorite book community blogger person. I've done a hard word that. Favorite book community member, now that I have regret the question. And my favorite book community member, well, this changes quite often, as I adore absolutely everyone to just pick one. It is so hard, you know? But on the spot, the first person that came to my mind is Sam Barnes with Oz fanboy. Um, he has his own YouTube channel and he's got Twitter which I will leave links to both below and he's just such a kind and loving person and I love his videos and I just marathon watch them all the time and he always leaves comments and I just so kind and a lovely person. So you guys should check him out and enjoy his videos as much as I do. And that's everything. That's the mid-year book freakout tag. And honestly, when I read the tag name, I thought that I was going to just be like eight minutes of me just screaming at the camera because I just think about how many books I've got to read. And... Ah! Thanks for watching. I'll be back with another video soon. And until then, I hope you guys have a wonderful week and read plenty. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Oh, who do I tag? I tag Stories for Coffee, uh, The Book Hangover, and you guys. Whoever wants to do this tag, do it and tag me in it. I want to watch them all. I want to watch the freakouts. Bye again.